Welcome to Greece. Thank you very much. Welcome to Patras. Thank you. You've been in Patras for a wee while. How do you like the city? So far, very good. I arrived when it is time of Carnival, so very good. Yeah. Uh, the sun is nice, so so far, very good. Nothing like Scotland, right? No, no, massive difference. <laughs> <laughs> what about your new team, Panahaiki? Good, good player. Um, uh, they put me straight to the atmosphere group. Uh, so far, very good. Seriously, uh, good attitude. Uh, it was very, very nice from the start. Uh, I know a lot of players they don't speak English, yeah, right. so it's difficult. But they try their best to try to help me, to teach me some more. So super, super. Yeah, nice. What are your thoughts over your new move? Uh, the problem is after Dundee, uh, I was staying in my family, uh, and after I missed play football, uh, so I wanted to come back play football, and uh, I had like a couple, of, I would say. Uh, some team or something like that? Yes, some team interesting and in the end because I didn't go to the World Cup, uh, changed their mind in the last moment when the transfer windows were nearly closed, so yeah, that no. killed me a little bit. Uh, after the disappointment of the World Cup, uh, I was like, okay, I will try to find the club. Uh, this December I had a lot of clubs was interested, but they were thinking I wasn't training, I wasn't fit. And in the end, Parashaiki called me. Uh, they were looking for a defender. I was happy to come here and come to Greece, see another level of football. Uh, I see like they wanted to get promoted, so uh, I'm here so for the yeah. moment. Nice. But you're looking so here, you're, try, you're trying, you know, you, you want to try and help the team get promoted. Of course, yeah. You're going to surely get some game time yes. on uh, your feet once you, you get uh, bond with the rest of the team yes. and stuff like that. Uh, this is a historic team, you know, for Greece yes. and for the level. It's got a good ground. A lot of people are following the team, you know, they're trying to help the team. Uh, suppose they will love you as well uh, because you're quite a good guy. Thank but you. now the point about your time in Razors. Uh, what's your opinion about Jers? Uh, fantastic time. Uh, was uh, I think one of the best time uh, in my career. Uh, fans, player, manager, uh, fitness coach, uh, physio, everything. Was, the kit man, everything was perfect. Seriously, uh, one of the best time I, I spent in my career. It was in Rangers. Yeah. What about the fans, the Reds fans? Superb, superb. My friends are still like, where I go? Dubai, uh, holiday, everywhere, my friend. Yeah, I, I find the fan from Rangers, <laughs> so know. it's fantastic. Yeah. I know, like, always when we was doing, like, uh, pre-season two, always find in different parts of the world, so... Uh, uh, you, when you don't play for Rangers, you don't know the club, how massive it is. When you play for Rangers and after you go all over the world, and you see how the, mass, the club is yeah, massive. Yeah. It's quite massive, you yeah. know. Everywhere is the even now in Greece. Even in Greece, you see, we're talking about the grand. Yeah. So, yeah. so what about the facilities? I broke for the whole. Oh my God! So you see, just like uh, unbelievable, because like we had everything to prepare ourselves, to work hard, to be the best team ever. So all of the the, the chairman, the the facility they, they built since. Uh, it's now uh, one of the best, I think, in the uh, in, in UK, maybe in the world, because uh, we have swimming pool, a big dressing room, we have like a massive gym, uh, a canteen, so we can eat like nice healthy food, uh, breakfast and lunch, uh, we had like indoor pitch, outside pitch, um, one um, warm pitch when it's like cold and yeah, uh, no, no. so, pff, super, everything, everything was super. Uh, I broke the stadium always. Um, if I tell you, uh, one time we was playing, uh, I think, a pre-season game and the pitch was so good. I went on the floor and I was looking, all of the grass was the same size. So this is very good. Yeah, 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 you know. This is different, different level, different yeah, like, different level. yeah, you know, they, they know how to look after and the... And uh, I just, you know, it's a different level from most of the Scottish clubs. Of course, so. yeah. No, no, we know like... Uh, yeah, you compare to the best uh, best club in England to Rangers, it's like one of the best club. You have to compare to one of the best club in England to see like the difference. Still, some club they don't have the same facility in England, in France too. So yeah. it's uh, it's very good. What they have is very good, and I think this is why they help the team to be uh, in a high level. Yeah, uh, the Rangers used to have uh, uh, you know a lot, a lot, a couple of uh, you know mostly players as well. Yes. Had Namusi and I don't know if he's yes, yes, anybody yes, of yes. them. 
show once Bukhera. Uh, yeah, Bukhera. Yes. So once you were there, uh, you devout Muslim. Mm -hmm. So uh, there was a, a room, so you could pray yes. and stuff like that, both on the like training ground and in Ibrox as well. Very good. So uh, was it there for you, or you just asked and they made um, it for you? When I uh, arrived, I asked them. I asked them, is it possible? They make it so easy. So for example, I asked them, the, I have to eat halal chicken or halal meat only. Yeah. Uh, I went to see the chef, the manager, tell me I'll go to see the chef, tell him it's okay for me. Uh, I asked him, look, I find the butcher there, where is halal, can you buy the chicken from there? Okay. Me, I was expecting like, okay, maybe next month or maybe, okay, couple of months. Oh, yeah, right. Next taking, day, yeah, next day, yeah. they called me on the reception, they have to see, you have to see the chef. The chef came with the bill from the butcher, okay, he showed me like the chicken, he said, okay, this is chicken. He buy me a pan to cook on his own, <laughs> fork and knife and everything for my. Imagine yeah, I was the only amazing. Muslim in this time. Yeah, Not no, like no, if no. if it was four or five, it would be like okay, I will understand. But I was the only one. After I asked them like, can I pray? He said okay, you have this room. Uh, there was a mosque, maybe five minutes walk from Ibrox. I said to the manager, who was in the for the Friday. Yes, I said can I go pray there? He said okay, go. I trust you. So I left the stadium and I go to pray. Come back. Easy. Of course, I was just walking, praying, and come back. But I know, like, when you are like in a in a camp for preparing the, the game, you don't go out of the stadium or you don't go, yeah, go no, out no. of the hotel. But the manager Ali Makas and the squad, all of the squad, they trust me, and that helped me to be a good player because, uh, as a player, I need my religion. I know, like in Greece here, they have a lot of Christian and Orthodox, so they believe in God, so it's very important for them. And I think this year when I arrived here, I was like, oh, okay, they will understand because they believe in God. So they will understand for myself too. But there in Rangers, it was fantastic time. Because of this, after, in Dundee, it was easy when I sent for Dundee. Yeah. They make it easy for me. Because everyone knew when I was in Rangers, it was like they have a room. When I was playing away, I had a room to pray. So it was very good. So far, the club in Rangers uh, helped me to be a better player, a better person, and uh, a better Muslim, because uh, that make me easy to practice my religion. Yeah, uh, it was good, it was good. Uh, so, uh, you never got to play many old farm games you know, no. because there were some turbulence at that time. Yeah. Uh, Legends was not playing the same league against Celtic. Yeah. Uh, no, but we, we had one. Uh, the semi final. Semi final, yeah, exactly. But I was with the national team. Yeah, I know, so no, no. I watched the game. I watched the game on TV there. And uh, of course, I was like, uh, you know, I was happy because I was in the national team. But I was sad because I left my teammate uh, yeah, no, in this big game. So I was in the middle of a balance. Uh, but I watched the game. It was a tough game. I see like a lot of red yeah, cards. It, it was a physical game. Yeah. You could have coped really well there. Yes. But you know we were not the better. So. No, no, no. I know. This is when I watch. I was like, I think I can help with my with my high and my size. So of course I was thinking like I can help the team. But uh, when I watched the game, uh, they lost, and uh, it's a shame because I know for the fan. Uh, it's very important to win the orphan games yeah. and uh, then the league. I know what it's like. Even to, the, even the Champions know. League, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> so, what is your opinion about those derbies, those orphan derbies? Crazy, crazy because, like, you see many red cards. So, I think uh, because some players are Scottish, so they live their life yeah. uh, as an orphan game is very important. So, the aggressivity. I think it's higher than a normal game. Yeah, nothing, uh, like it. nothing you can compare to nothing, I think, uh, in this orphan game. Uh, I never had the chance, maybe uh, one time I wanted to go to a northern game, but uh, after it was in Celtic, and they say if you go there you will have trouble and this, yeah. so I didn't go. Uh, but maybe once I would go to watch Rangers and hopefully to, they will. We'll go maybe we we'll go together, <laughs> we watch an orphan game, and hopefully we bring the luck. To, they will beat uh, Celtic and maybe win the league. Yeah, maybe, possibly. Okay. So, but you never get to play a northern game, but you played with some big games as well. Yeah. Uh, against you know, the last season, against Hearts, against the Bayern, stuff like that. Dundee. Which, yeah, against Dundee, yeah, yeah. Which game do you remember the most? Which game? I which remember? game, you know, is there any game you remember the most? Any physical games or something like that? Is there any game that stands out from the rest that you played in Scotland? I think we play like Hips, Hibernian there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, for, uh, uh, I think, to secure our second place, mm -hmm. uh, I give two assists. So this is, I think, uh, our show like to the team and to the player and to the, to the fans. When it's a big game, I can like show my quality. Yeah. And uh, in this game, we won 2-0. I think uh, Nicky Clark scored one. And uh, 
Kenny Miller scored the second, if I remember. And uh, now it was one of the good games because like we was at hips, and uh, this game was going to change. If we lose, they will be second. Uh, they will be second. They will be third, and we have to play more games. And uh, we secured our place, so it was one of the game yeah. I think uh, important, and where well, for myself uh, I did well. And for the team, it was very important. We won 2-0 and uh, we secured the second place. Yeah, your first time at Razors, when you, play, when you went there for first, uh, there was a Greek guy, Anes Salgiri, who was yes. a defender. Do you remember him? I remember him, yeah. He was a good player, I think, uh, for his size. Yeah, he was small. Yeah, so this is why. <laughs> so for his size, I was shocked, like, uh, he came to Scotland. But, uh, no, good player. Good player, uh, physical, uh, clever. So yeah, I remember him uh, as a as a good player. Yeah, but, uh, when when you were there, which yeah. player was a standout? What, which one do you think was you no know, cracking player, better than anybody else in the team? Me, yeah, I was always uh, give lot of uh, respect to Lim McCulloch. Yeah, Lim yeah, McCulloch. Yeah. Uh, he's a fighter as well. Yeah, he's a fighter. He's a leader. He's a good guy. He's a good captain. He can play centre midfield, striker, defender. Uh, maybe one time goalkeeper, I don't know. <laughs> now he's a manager, so a lot of respect. Uh, when I arrived, he was very nice with me. We played together, so he helped me a lot uh, to improve. Uh, so yeah, he's a good guy, strong. Good guy, strong was he guy. the leader in the yeah, club? He was one of the leaders. And you know, uh, he had like um, this is what I think is a good manager now uh, because uh, he knew how to uh, keep all of the team together. I know it's the role of the manager. Yeah, but no. him as a captain, he was helping the manager a lot. So the player who wasn't involved helped them. The young player who come through to the changing room helped them. So it was like a, a very good guy with everyone. Old foreign player, yeah, he tried yeah. to speak French with me. When his French is like, okay. <laughs> he's, he, he's a Rangers fan as well. Yes, yes, he's okay. a Rangers fan. I can see like when I arrived, I was seeing like players with tattoo of Rangers yeah, in no. the calves in like the, sh the, um, the chest so this is I understand like those players they would give everything to to, to the team yeah. so after I saw like this and I was like Bilal because of this you have to raise your level to help uh, those guys because they love the team because now most of the players when they come and play for a team when they wear the shirt they don't see like eh, you have fans behind you have families behind who are just not have the luck to play in this field, but you have the luck to play here, so give 100%. Yeah, like that. Any youngsters, when you were playing there, that you thought that this guy is gonna go, is gonna go do well? Robbie Crawford. Yeah, uh, he was good. Now, I don't know. This is a, so it's a shame. He have all of the quality, uh, fitness level very high, my friend. He can like run a marathon easy. Uh, left foot, right foot, uh, technical. Uh, maybe maybe one more one thing maybe just weak a little bit weak but still like because he's scottish so he's fighting and i was expecting him to be maybe one of the future star of uh, rangers so he wanted to leave so he, he left he went to england to surf it yeah. and then he had no luck now he's playing one in one of the minor teams i know, I know. No, this is a, no so special. for me when i follow him his career i was like disappointed because i was expecting much much better for me i don't know after maybe the, you know in football luck you have to find the manager who give you chance maybe close his eyes when like you do bad game and put you on put you on until like you have experience yeah and uh, confidence because as a young player if you don't have confidence you will always like be on the bench because you will do mistakes and you'll be hard with yourself and robbie was one of the players i think who uh, had a uh, lot of skills uh, clever guy so everything to be a good professional, <coughs> and it's a shame now. Uh, you yeah, tell me like, so so let him for me when I was there, one of the yeah, great players. Yeah, he was a good player, and uh, imagine that Rangers as well were expecting a lot of him. Yeah. That's why you know he was a standout. He was you know in uh, demonstrations, he was in photos and stuff like yeah. that. But uh, yeah, he never made it. Yeah, he yeah, wanted yeah. to leave early, and he didn't cut it. Rangers most of the time do not have divas, but I know uh, diva. You know, is, is, is they, a, no, no, no. One who like uh, take care, cream and everything. 
uh, device, you know, something for the women. Yeah. But, no, 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 you no. know, in modern of football, course, a lot, no, a lot of I will tell you, like, <laughs> Arnold Ferrata, uh, he died. Yeah, no. uh, I'm very sorry when I heard this. He was like one of teammates, one of friends. Uh, we were speaking Spanish. I tried to help him with uh, learning English and this. So he was one of the Jiva. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry. I hope like he's in peace uh, in paradise. Uh, but yeah, Arnold Ferrata was one of the diva in, uh, in uh, always cream, always everything. Uh, put it his hair, maybe he needed like yeah, yeah, yeah. five hours to put like just one hair, like on the right side, left, or so him, Arnold Ferrata. <laughs> Besides you, uh, was there any hard man in the team? Beside me, uh, I believe you're a hard man. Yes, <laughs> but uh, when I was playing, I can see like uh, Chantilly was a hard man. Um, okay, a big guy, guy this is why right. uh, Lee McCulloch was a hard man. Um, he was like uh, Kenny Miller when he arrived, a hard man. Uh, I think like when you sign for Rangers, you know what you expect. You have to be a hard man. You know, it's, or you can't play to the team. Because yeah. like fans expect you to win every game. So if you're not hard, you can't play to the team and you can't go through to the team. Yeah, it will be too much pressure and after you will not be able to play yeah, yeah. Your, your, your level. So I think, yeah, John Daly. John Daly was a hard man because up front, I think uh, he helped us a lot, was a leader uh, in, uh, in his way. So now he's a hard man. He's a uh, big guy, you know, yeah. an old school. Yes, you know, of course. So. You played at the four one Yes, I played at the four one When you were in England, you yeah. <laughs> scored some goals as well. I scored some goals, yes. <laughs> so, uh, which was uh, the manager's favorite player back then? Manager favorite player? Difficult to say. For me, Ali Marcos was uh, one of the fair player, fair, fair manager, sorry. So I will tell you like... Uh, no favorite players. No Nothing favorite no. player. But he was like, um, he was very good with everyone. So for example, me, I asked him, if I, can I go to see my family? Uh, I will train there, he gave me a day off. When uh, a guy asked him, if I, can I have a day off? He gave him, um, he was playing with us, he was playing with the young player, with the old player, speaking to everyone. This door was always open, so I would say like, uh, when I see a favorite player, no. I think the player at the time, they were saying, it's me the favorite player. But uh, I was thinking because I had like more day off than them. But I explained to them like, your family live across the road. Me, my family is in France or in Tunisia, so I have to go there. Uh, but yeah, okay. Al a really good guy. Yeah. Uh, had some difficult times you know, when I won that way, you know, as a manager. Uh, he was a really good player as well. Two very good boots about that, a great scorer, a great striker. But, he, but you know, besides that, uh, he he was a really good guy. Even, you know, if he has achieved so many things when uh, yes, a player. As a player, you know, like, for example, I will give you, as a player, when you achieve, like, a lot of um, reward like this, you maybe become an arrogant manager. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Him, Opposite, very, very good, very nice, very friendly. Uh, nothing to say, nothing wrong to say. Mm -hmm. Seriously, I think he helped me uh, a lot uh, to be a Rangers player. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, not favorite player. Uh -huh. So now to that, you know, mother was about that. Uh, what about that? Do you think that this may be then with your career or something like that? Uh, no, it's. Uh, for me, um, start with Stuart McCall. When Stuart McCall came, he had a problem with me. I don't know why. So I didn't know if it's someone telling some bad stuff about me. He tried to put me out of the team when I think I helped the team to be second in the league. So uh, Stuart McCall was one of the worst managers I had in my life. I hope, like, my, for example, if he signed to Manchester and uh, Manchester called me, okay, we no go because of him. <laughs> Uh, so after uh, he was putting me, he imagine as a player, you know you can play, uh, you know you fit, you know you was in a team, in a squad, and now you drop, you see some results are not good, you think you expected to play, but the manager sent you in the under 21, uh, after he don't play you, uh, he put you in a reserve team, so it was without, difficult. Without happening, after, you know, something in the middle or something like that? This is, no, uh, nothing, I was respect, everything. But after, of course, uh, he lost my confidence because uh, if you don't respect me, of course I will. Uh, yeah, no. I will respect you as a manager, but that's it. No more. No laughing. No nothing. Uh, we arrived in the last game of the season. 
uh, the most important was a well home first. He put me in a stand. And you need player, experienced player with this big game. And you, can, you play against Premier League team. Uh, he put me in a stand. And over game, he put me on the bench. I was like, okay, we lost 3 0 in the first, uh, first leg. Second leg, it was like 3 1. He put me on. I tell him, why you put me on? What do you want me to do? Because of respect of fun, I came on. But normally, as a player, I don't come on. Because again, like, hey, you don't respect me. Both games you put me in the stand and in the set. And now the last 15 minutes you want to put me on for doing what? Yeah. You put your team, you lost with your team, it's you the worst manager. So finish, finish your team and leave the road the club. Because you don't deserve to be in the club. Maybe as a player you was a good player, but as a manager you don't know how to manage a team. And you didn't manage me well. So when you don't manage me well as a player of the team, so you did your job wrong. Yeah. So after he put me, I came on and you did like a lot of substitute. Okay, you go front, go front anyway. Clear win. Uh, uh, I remember his name when he's like uh, a player, like average player, bad average player. So if he was a very good player, I would tell you, oh, he was a very good player. Sorry, yes, I apologize. But, uh, they are winning the game, sorry, not my mom. This is normal in UK. Normal, but it's okay. After helping me on purpose, I don't know what he had in this game. I don't know why he was like, he tried to show he was stronger than me, maybe. Maybe he had like this complex, I don't know. After the game, uh, he wanted to shake my hand. Imagine me outside, I swear at your mom, your grandma, your father, and after I come, I hit you. And after the end, I say, hey, all the best. Thank you very much for your game. Are you serious? Hey, I'm not fair play when you're not fair play. I'm a fair play player. I never swear at mom players. I never hit someone on purpose. I don't want to kill someone or to break someone's leg. I just come and play, start to play as with my quality. If I kick you or elbow you or something, I apologize. Sorry, my friend. It's not, this is not football. Sometimes that happens to receive a kick, to receive this, yes, this is football, but not on purpose. And an apologize is nothing, sorry, all the best. Him, after the game, tried to shake my hand. I just tell him, no. But after he hit, I went, I walked to the changing room, he hit me from behind. If you walk in the street and someone hit you from behind, eh, you have two choices, run away or hit back. Me, I wasn't thinking we was on TV, we was at the game. It was nothing, just react, quick react, and I hit him and big problem. And in the end, I think uh, Stuart Marcol was the funniest man. His contract finished the 31 of May. After the game, he wasn't the manager of Rangers. Me and my contract had an option, so I was able to have another contract. He said, oh, I don't sign Bilal anymore. You're not manager. Close your mouth, you're not manager anymore. So after I was like, I take my clothes, I come home. I take all of my clothes and I left, I left the country because I, I knew uh, as a foreign player, when you do mistake in country, yeah, no. it's like big it's thing. The same, yeah, because the same. like, okay, give you names. Joey Barton did bad things. Yeah. Always find the club, no problem. Uh, Mario Balotelli, no problem. When you are a big player and you do bad things, it's okay. And when you're from the country, it's okay. But when you foreign, and you do yeah, bad it's always thing. Trouble, it's difficult. It's difficult. It's always different. Yeah. yeah so this is the same. So I think, of course, the, after this, uh, I knew like, uh, yeah, it would be uh, end of Rangers. Yeah. yeah so after like no chairman, no sport director, no, no one called me. It was uh, I was like, okay, this is. Uh, I knew like I was finished. Uh, the club cut with me. Yeah. So my Rangers time was. So last question, but not least, about your, your you were born in France, yeah. but you're of Mission descent. Yeah. So what uh, does it mean uh, to you uh, to play for your national team? You know, because Tunisia is a footballing nation. Yeah. They love football. Yes. Uh, what does it mean? Uh, first, first of all, it's just um, I decided because my father wanted me to play for Tunisia national team. So because uh, when you say I would, I would be very proud of you if you play for my country. Uh, I know it's not, uh, I was born in France, I grew up in France, so I have just uh, the nationality because of my parents. But I went on holiday there, see my family, so I'm half French and half Tunisian. Yeah, sure. So, 
But after I decided because of my dad and my family, they wanted to play, they were so proud to play for Tunisia. So when I was there, I met some great guy, very good guy. And of course, uh, when I played my first game against Egypt, uh, in first official game against Egypt uh, uh, in uh, African National Cup qualification, uh, when I hear our uh, him singing, yeah, the national anthem, national anthem, exactly. Uh, it was very good, and after I felt like uh, this is important, very important. So I'm very, very happy. I hope like uh, if I do well here in Panashaiki, I can come back to the national team. Yeah, you were, you, you were in the uh, team for the uh, yeah, new manager. The Russia, yeah, the yeah. World Cup. He's new manager now, so he will like to try to see like other players maybe. Uh, so we'll see if I do well, maybe help the team to get promoted. Maybe I can go with the national team and uh, and come back uh, with the lads and uh, try to win the African National Cup. Yeah, so, it will be great. It will be great. So, so try to get promoted no, here. Thank you very much, thank you very much. for your time. Take care, I thank you, the thank best. you for the time. We'll be there in the stands no for you. No problem, okay. I hope like if I score, I will come here. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much, Rafael. Thanks a lot.